Hello friend, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about a new node named Pulet Flux. So as the node worked in SDXL, now this node works with Flux. What does this node do? For example, we have a face. We can generate multiple AI-generated images with the same face. It makes the face consistent while generating our AI images. So the first thing you have to do is install Comfy UI Pulet Flux. So most users get errors while installing Pulet. So first how to install this. I'll go step by step on how you can install Pulet Flux. First, you have to copy this and open your Comfy UI custom node folder. At the top of the bar, write CMD and paste the command. This will install Comfy Pulet Flux in your custom node. I have already installed this so now the next step is to download the Pulet pre-trained model which you can get from a model which you can save in the Comfy UI model folder in Pulet. You have to save this in the Pulet folder. If this folder is not available in the model, you have to create a new folder and name it Pulet and save the file here. The next step is fixing the facelip. This is the hardest part. Most people aren't able to install this facelib in Comfy Eye, so I have created a tutorial on how you can install this step by step. When you try to install facelib through pip install, you have to install facelib. But if you try to install facelib, then you won't be able to install it in your Comfy UI. So, in this tutorial now I will teach you how to install this filter PY. First, you have to go to the Comfy Wii Windows Portal folder. Then you have to go to the Python Embedded folder of your Comfy Wii. Then type a command. You have to copy and paste code to run this code. Then download the facelip file from here and save it in the Comfy UI Windows Portable. Once this is done, you have to go there and copy the facelift 0.3 path. Then go to the Python Embedded folder and type a command and you have to write python.exem pip install and paste the path here. It will install. The facelib in Comfy UI. The next step is to open Comfy UI. So we have open Comfy UI upload the workflow. So this is the workflow that I created for it. Here you can see that I created it in two parts. So in this process, you just have to upload the face image and it will generate the same face AI image. So here I have added another node using the long clip text encoder. So you have to download this long clip L file and save it in your model clip folder. Here in the clip folder, we will make a separate video about it, about how it works. So for now, you just have to download and save the file in this way. So here we have this test prompt, then I have bypassed the lore that I have just mentioned. If you want to use any LoRa, then you can enable it and use add here. For this tutorial, I have just bypassed it. So as you can see, the output has the same face which I uploaded in Pluit. So see this exactly the same face. I have generated another image with a different prompt. The face is exactly the same. If you look very closely, the face is exactly the same. So here for low VRAM, I have added a separate group. Here if you have low VRAM, then you have to select two. And now let's look at the styles. Enable it if you want to generate an image with the same style you want to use. Upload the image. So I already loaded the image. It generates the image in the same style and keeps the face consistent. 
Remove the prompt and now run it and see you can see here by copying the same style it has generated the same image for us but the face is exactly the same. So in this way you can create images from the consistent face with the help of this workflow. If you like this video, then give a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.